Hello, hi Amit. Hi teacher, how are you? Oh, sorry, I keep sneezing. <laughs> okay, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. Are you ready to do some more writing? Sure. We're going to do the same thing as yesterday with the... You can choose your own words. Um, so I'm sure you remember how. Uh, for everyone who's watching or interested in joining, um, it's a creative writing class. So you'll be going to this word generator and then you can select three, five, seven words. It's up to you. And it will give you some random words that you can use in your story. Then you can select a spot. So put Samantha. Here are my words. I just copied and pasted them. Seagull, zoo, search, parish, nanny, and flashbulb. <laughs> so then I would have to write a story using those words. Um, and that's basically how it works. When you're finished writing, I'll edit your work for you. So, Ahmed, you can go ahead and select your words whenever you're ready and go for it. And then maybe some people, more people will join us later. Okay. And uh, just teach our words, uh, generator words. The link for generator was. Sure. It's right here. And I'll put it in the verbal link chat too. Seeing you are flu. Pardon? You are you have sorry, I don't hear you. You have flu? Uh, no, I just have like, a cold. <laughs> I'm just sneezing a lot. Um, not uh, feeling well. Yeah. Um, hope you would be think of us soon. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe some coffee will fix me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay, so go ahead and whenever you're finished, just let me know and I'll come and edit. Sure, sure. Hi, Heidi. Nice to see you. Hello. Uh, nice to see you again. Um, so we're doing some more creative writing. Mm -hmm. I'll just put the link there for you. And what you do is go to this word generator here and select the number of words you'd like to use in your story. Mm -hmm. And then you can just copy and paste and you have to write a story using those random words. <laughs> uh -huh. um, and you can write about whatever you want, something creative. Where can I write? Uh, you can type right in the document. If you just scroll down, it says name, my words, my story, a bunch of times. Mm -hmm. And you can type in the document. There you see Ahmed is typing here. Link again. Okay.
Hi, hey, Edith. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine to hear you again. Yeah, you too. Um, so we're doing some creative writing. Okay. So if you want to join in, um, there's two files. This one is the document that we're typing in. And hi, Sophia. <laughs> for you as well. Um, Hi teacher, excuse me for the delay because of the internet connection. Ah, it's okay, don't worry. Um, and then this is a word generator and you can select some random words to use in your story. So you can use three or five if you want or seven, it's up to you. But you just press the button of the number that you want and then it will give you some random words that you can use in your story. Then you can go into the document and just put them here. So now I have teddy bear, sandals, him, and reject. And then I have to write a short story using my words. Okay, so I'll put the links in the Google chat as well. And you can type directly into this document. So you can just scroll down and find a blank space, like this one. Mm 
And then when you're finished writing, I'll edit your writing for you, give you some feedback. Okay?
So you have about five, ten more, about ten more minutes. So just keep writing, and it, whenever you finish, make sure that you try to edit your own work a little bit too. Okay. Okay, Sophia, you're finished? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's take a look. So, yesterday, <clears throat> it was a good evening with my parents. Yesterday, first of all, I'm just going to make this not bold, and then I can edit. Oops. There we go. Yesterday... It was a good evening with my parents. We went out for dinner. We've been on holiday for two weeks. And these days are the last and also the best. Yesterday evening, we went to the restaurant. We went to our restaurant, placed on a very pretty shore of the Mediterranean Sea, and ate a good piece of junk. Uh, Do you mean fish? Uh, I mean, uh, mm, the meal. Meal. Okay. Well, if you say it like this, it sounds like it was something very bad. <laughs> uh. <laughs> like a piece of junk means um, like garbage. <laughs> so, uh. ate a good meal together. Um, it was very salt, salty and big. So, so what did you get that you cut into four pieces? Excuse me. Excuse me. It, was it a fish? Uh, uh, yes. Yes. Uh, I, uh, am, uh, I am that, that, that it was a, was a, um, a second plate as, as meal. As meal. But I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so you could say um, we ate a good meal together. It was maybe a ah, very salty and big fish. So we cut it into four pieces for the whole family. Maybe? I don't know. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, we were very hungry. Oops. While we were waiting for lunch, my brother began to become hysterical because he didn't want to wait for it. And so the waiter brought us some pencils and we had a good time. Mm. We had a good time drawing. And what do you mean, and drawings as well? Uh, I mean, uh, I mean uh, the, the piece the of piece paper, of the pieces of piece paper, paper color. Oh, and coloring? As well. Yes. yes. Our parents kept an eye on them in the meantime. Towards the end, they gave us good comments, and the meal arrived just in time, just in time for dinner. Okay, very good. Um, let me show you the word junk. Junk means rubbish, clutter. Something discarded or of useless value. <laughs> uh, uh. It's like garbage. <laughs> so that's not the word that you want. <laughs> uh. Instead, you can say just your meal. Uh, okay. Uh, excuse um, me. So y your prompt word was junk. Um,
So some way we could fit it in together. Uh, let's see. Mm. Maybe right here you could say, um, we chose this restaurant because the food at the last one we went to was junk. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. Um, because junk is negative. <laughs> so. Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good, Sophia. Good job. Um, you can do some more writing if you want to. Continue this or write another one. Yes. Yes. Is anyone else finished? You still have another about five minutes to finish it up, okay? I'm teaching. I'm teaching. My story is a little short. That's okay. Okay, so. Rose Donkey Bridal Pumpkin Bus Stop. Okay. I was standing at the bus stop expecting the. Uh, expecting the bus. That's okay. To my work. And suddenly I saw a rose on the road. A few minutes later, it was destroyed by a donkey, which had a lot of pumpkins on its back. The, this donkey had no bridle. It was a strange tree. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> Very good. Um, wow, you managed to fit all of those in, like, just a few sentences. <laughs> Very good. Um, Edith, you can you can keep writing if you want to. Okay. We've still got lots of time. I finished. I finished. Okay, Heidi, you're finished. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna make it so I can edit here. I was in front of a theater to buy a ticket for the next show. I could successfully buy a good seat, I think. When I was about to receive some change, I heard a small voice saying, give me some money. There we go. So whenever a new person is speaking, um, you have to start a new line like this. I looked at him and I was surprised. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. My friend, my <laughs> relative, my mom's younger brother. <laughs> when I was a child, he played with me. Uh, he played games with me, such as hide and seek, playing house, card games, etc. And later, he became a tax officer. But suddenly, oops. But suddenly we lost him. And right here you want a semicolon instead of a comma. Because these are two full sentences on either side. He disappeared two years ago. Where have you been? Why did he become a beggar? I invited him... Sorry, the formatting is strange. I don't know why. I invited him to a coffee shop close to the theater. It was my payday. I received my salary and I was heading to my apartment when I found a little girl crying. I asked her what had happened. She said her mother was suffering from a heavy sick, I think instead you want to say, like, 
very bad illness, hmm. for example. Um, something like that. Instead of sick, we usually call it an illness. illness. But she didn't have any money, and they were about to be kicked out of their apartment. So I gave all my money to them, and I decided to live with them. Last year, she died. Aww. So now, I'm living with the girl. I'm jobless, so I became a beggar. I cried hearing his story. Mm. Here we go. It's better. I have a lot of money because I succeeded my father's fortune. So I decided to offer him to offer him some of my money. You don't have to say some part, just some of my money is fine. Um, that was a good opportunity because I was alone. I had lost my mother and next my father. Now I'm living with my new family and I'm happy. Very good, Heidi. So, um, just a few like errors when you're using quotations, but not very many. Uh, once you got to this part, it was okay. It was mostly up here. Um, and besides that, there are just just some little things really. And beggar, oh, be beggar is spelt with an a actually like this. Beggar. Uh, do you have any questions? I couldn't. I couldn't pray. 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 <laughs> yeah, your words. You had relative salary beggar theater tax. <laughs> it's, very, it's kind of a fun exercise that the words are very random. <laughs> Good job. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, so we're still waiting on uh, Ahmed. Are you still writing? You still have some time. Oh, just in three minutes. Yeah, sure. There's still you still have like five, ten minutes if if you need it. Um, and oh. everyone else, you're welcome to continue writing. Yes, we've still got about twenty minutes in class.
Okay, Edith, did you do some more writing? Yes, teacher. Okay. I try it in. <laughs> okay. Um, colleague, kitchen, intriguing carpenter. Oh, okay. He was a carpenter who lived in a far away village. Oh. He, he was very old, and he usually gave gave a lot of opinions to the peop to the village people. Okay. And these opinions were. Yeah, instead of so, you should try to use very and really um, when you're describing something. Mm -hmm. um, okay. One day, he said the earth will warm because, will maybe become warm because the men won't care about natural resources and new disease diseases will appear. A few years later, some of his opinions became, uh, or you can say some of his opinions came true, and today his best colleague is worried about those intriguing opinions. He frequently Thinks. How can this com carpenter be able to have those opinions? How can this carpenter have those opinions? Maybe. Good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, is it a true story? <laughs> <laughs> it's a flash idea, teacher. <laughs> It's, it's my inspiration. Good. You're actually you're very good at this with the prompts. It's really great. Um, oh, you didn't put you missed kitchen. Oh, sorry. Maybe write a few more sent another sentence. See if you can put kitchen in there. Oh, it's so difficult to continue with kitchen, teacher. I know. <laughs> Don't worry, it's fine. Um, I try it. <laughs> Ahmed, are you finished? Yep, I finished. Okay. Arrow, sailor, noise, receipt, gallery, umbrella, girders, wolf. Wow, <laughs> you've got lots of words. Okay, I would like to write about a girl <clears throat> that loses her husband in... Uh, I know this is a little strange, but usually we say at sea. Okay, um, it's kind of an exception, really. Um, mm -hmm. But when you're talking about boats or um, anything like this, a cruise or a boat, uh, we always say at sea. Okay? Um, she... So, first of all, is this going to be in the present or are you telling a story from the past? Um, the past. Okay. So it should be lost her husband. She was always angry at him because he left her a lot of times since his job demanded that. He was a sailor. Sometimes she stayed, sometimes she went a couple of months without seeing him. One time in the evening, in the evening, and the weather was winter. How about how about instead of writing it like this, you could say um, on a rainy winter evening. Mm -hmm. So you can use these words as adjectives. Yeah. Okay. Um, she felt worried about him. She decided to take her her wolf. <laughs> her pet wolf and umbrella with her and go to the port. So this is still in the past, but uh -huh. as you have decided here, mm -hmm. 
these ones are working like the infinitive. Decided to take and to go. You don't have to put the to, but um, mm -hmm. when she was close to the port, she heard a noise and many people crowded around. When she asked one of them what had happened, the arrow, uh, one second, I don't even know what girders are. Mm, a large iron structure for building bridges. Okay. Um, he, ah, he, he pointed his finger. Right? You mean he, yeah, he pointed his finger, that's the verb, um, to the girders near the port and said, look, it seems one ship has been destroyed. You're missing a verb right here. Yeah. And what's the problem right here? Do you know? Um, destroyed uh, has been uh, destroyed. Uh. It's about the punctuation. Uh -huh. the, 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 right. The period. Been. Where should the period go? Yeah. Uh, here, like it should uh, like period before. Yeah, no. it should be exactly right before the quotation marks. Uh -huh. Okay, so whenever someone is speaking, it always goes inside every time. Okay? She knew at that time she had lost her husband. She was sad and she didn't go out unless, except for, unless, except for necessary things. After one year, she received a receipt. Mm -hmm. When she opened it, um, so a receipt is like, a piece of paper that you get after you pay for something. Like when you get your groceries, uh -huh. they give you a receipt. Uh -huh. I think she received like a piece of mail. Uh -huh. um, I know receipt is one of your words, right? <laughs> but yeah. I don't think it really fits here. It doesn't really work. Um, yeah. Except for necessary things. <laughs> here, I'm going to add something uh -huh. for you. Um, she became obsessed with collecting receipts <laughs> from her groceries. There you go. <laughs> I don't know. After one year, she received a piece of mail, and when she opened it, it was an invitation to the gallery. When she was there, she saw some pictures which her husband had kept with him. The pictures were of her. Now she believed him when he said her. Do you know what's wrong here? When he said uh, to her? Good, said to her, good. Or told her. Mm -hmm. My body is far away, but my heart is with you. Oh, it's so romantic. Uh, <laughs> okay, um, I think you could use a bit of review on the past perfect still. So. Mm -hmm. You'll notice I, I added it here, had lost, had happened, right? Um, and when I'm adding it, it's because, like, let's say this is our timeline. Oops. Just a second. This is our timeline. Oops. Like this. Um, and when something happens sometime in here, mm -hmm. this moment is the past perfect, mm -hmm. okay, had whatever. And then when something happens here, right after, but it's a finished action, that's past simple. So, for example, um, I had 
finished cleaning hmm. when my mother arrived home. So I finished cleaning. This happened before she arrived home. Right? Um, or by the time is another expression you see a lot. So you want to keep it m more like multi-dimensional when you're writing. Um, don't always use the past simple and continuous. There's You have a lot of opportunity in your stories to use the past perfect. Like in this sentence, um, she saw some pictures which her husband had kept with him. So the reason I put this in past perfect is because he had kept these pictures before he died, right? So this is an action that happened before the main event of the story, right? And then up here, she knew she had lost her husband. So she didn't know that up until this point, that she had lost him. Again, when she asked them what had happened, so do you see why I'm, I'm using it? Yeah, I use it. So you should try to use it a little bit more if you can. Um, I don't think you used it at all, actually. Uh, I don't know if I gave you this link before. I'll give it to you again. Um, also, tomorrow night I have a past perfect class if, if that helps. <laughs> but yeah, sure. I'll do my best. There's the link. Um, and the main idea is that you're, you're writing so many narratives, like in the past. Um, that it's very important that you're kind of mixing it up and you want to use the perfect tense too. Um, so this is kind of the best way I know how to explain, but I know that it's it's very confusing. I understand that. <laughs> so um, it, it just takes some practice. Um, yeah. And once you get it, Ahmed, like once you figure it out, it will be easy for you, really. It just, it it's complicated at first to understand like when to use it. So. Um, great, good job. Thank you. Um, okay. Does anyone have anything else they'd like me to look at before we go? Uh, I've uh, finished. Okay, Sophia, did you write another one or did you add uh, another uh, one? I see it right here. Okay. Tomorrow will be the best day ever. <laughs> um, it's my best friend's birthday. I'm very excited because my last one was very fun and I thanked her m my last birthday maybe yes and I thanked her and my friends I know that last one that's what you meant um, but it wasn't it's not qu that clear because you haven't talked about your own birthday so you want to just make it clear if you say my own or my last birthday um, yes. I thanked her and my friends. Sarah, one of my friends, loves the group One Direction. Oh, no. <laughs> just kidding. Um, and then I just, okay, so instead of and then, maybe so. So I decided to give her a poster of them, a big one, just for her whole passion. Now, this is getting a little long for a sentence. So maybe here you can make a new one. It is not the same. Or how about you do this? Um, her passion is not the same as mine, but we agree at any rate. That's a good use of that expression, at any rate. Good. Uh, I chose a very pretty package, which I'm going to fill with other things like pencils, pens, etc. It's a medium sized package colored with bright colors that make different reflections when the light um, shines on them. Mm. Good verb for light. My last birthday she left me with no words and this time I'm going to do the same with all my friendship. Very good, Sophia. Excellent. Um, okay, and ED3. <laughs> okay, let me find it. Okay. 
Crown work diving board sailor. Oh, those are interesting words. Okay, let's see. Uh, it was a story about a funny sailor who had a big family and six children. Period. Okay? Okay. All of them were men. This was the reason he should work very hard. Ah, very good use of your semicolon. This is the reason he should work very hard, comma, even on some weekends. Mm -hmm. One day, his children drew a big picture of his father and put it a crown. Oh, like, um, gave him a crown? <laughs> they, they put a crown on their father, right? Okay. They love his father a lot. Okay. Usually, comma, these children usually like is an um a transition um, word the same as one day. See how you put a comma there? It's the same idea. Usually, and you pause. Uh, mm -hmm. These children went to the swimming pool. And they, so should this be in the past? Yes, past. And they liked uh -huh. to do jumps from the diving board like his father. Okay, excellent. I think you got them all this time. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> good job, Edith. Um, okay, excellent writing, everybody. Very good. Um, thanks for coming. Uh, I have another class after this, and we're going to play Taboo. So maybe I'll see you guys there. Okay? Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.